All Aboard. Bring it, you board games. Hi guys, welcome to All Aboard. My name is Gly. And I'm Pat. Today we'll do a full playthrough of Mansions of Madness. We'll be doing the Circle of Eternity scenario. Now, as this is a story-driven game, there will, of course, be spoilers. So if you don't want to know what happens in this scenario, then please stop watching this video now. Otherwise, come with us as we enter the mansion. Okay, and our starting items have been given to us by the app, and we'll be keeping the app off screen for this playthrough, just so that the game is a bit more smooth and Correct. you can follow the story a bit better. So we start off with the candles, crowbar, elder sign pendant, holy water, and feed, feed the, mind, the mind, which is a spell. Mm -hmm. So we can split those up uh, any way we want between us. Okay, so I'm going to take the elder sign pendant and the crowbar. I will have the candles, the holy water, and feed the mine. Okay, and my character today is going to be William Yorick, the grave digger. So my special ability is that whenever a monster is defeated, I gain one clue. And uh, I'm Minty Pan, the secretary. Once per round, you or another investigator within range may reroll one die while resolving a test. Oh, okay, that's useful. Okay, and um, we each start with two clues. Your car rattles up the uneven drive, pulling to a stop in front of the estate. Several cars and carriages are parked along the drive. However, the butler who contacted you is nowhere to be seen. You knock on the large oak door to no response. Fearing something has happened, you try the handle, and the door swings open into a lavish entryway. Okay. You step into the warmth of the house. A strange stillness hangs in the air and your footsteps echo through the quiet entrance. On the left wall of the entry hall sits a table with a small pile of papers. A mysterious painting of a nighttime landscape dominates the right wall of the entry. The silence is broken by the muffled shouts and sounds of crashing pots and pans coming from the door. You notice a shelf stacked with books and other objects nearby. Pushing it in front of the door could prevent someone or something from coming through. The hall continues deeper into the mansion. Three other doors lead into the mansion. Okay, so uh, we have two actions each. Mm -hmm. And we can take them in any order we like. So what do we need to do? Well, there's definitely some sounds coming from here. So I think there's definitely going to be something in here. Mm -hmm. And we also might find some clues around out here, which is worth exploring. Okay, so I'm going to check the papers on the table. Okay, so that's one action. The papers stacked on the table are invitations marked with today's date. The stars have come round to their positions in the circle of eternity. The Vanderbilt Astronomy Association cordially invites you to a celebratory evening. So you gain one clue. And my second action is to walk forward. Okay, that's your two actions. Now, I think that I'm going to check out and see what the commotion in here yeah. is. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to investigate here. A ruckus can be heard on the other side of this door, shouting the crash of pots and pans. Is that hissing? Okay, so my first action is to explore here. The door swings open to reveal a dining room in chaos. An aging man in a tailcoat scrambles through a serving window into the kitchen as he tries to escape a strange black creature writhing on the dining room table. The creature turns to face you. Its black serpentine body shifts and changes, playing tricks on your eyes as you try to focus on it. The creature unfurls its leathery wings and unleashes a blood-curdling screech. Okay, so that's going to make me suffer too horror, and I can negate that with willpower. So my will is four, so that means that I get to roll four dice. And then what I'm trying to get is these elder sign tokens on the dice. Each one of those is a success. And if I get some of the magnifying glasses, they can be turned into successes by spending clues. But for now, I have to try to get two or... Nice, okay, so two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I don't need to take any horror. In the center of the dining table, a carving knife sits embedded in a roast. Oh, oh there's a knife in there. We should do, we should get that knife. Yeah, it would help if we were yeah. able to use it on this creature anyway. 
A china cabinet stands against the wall, though it looks to have been repurposed to store all manner of knickknacks. You can see a kitchen through the serving window. Most of the cabinets are ajar due to the food preparation, but one that has been locked shut with a chain catches your attention. In the kitchen, you can also see that someone has left the refrigerator open. Water leaks out into a puddle on the floor. You spot the old man you saw climbing through the serving window huddling in the corner behind the oven. Sweat beads off his brow and his eyes bulge in terror. This is Eugene, the butler. Okay, and I can move one space in here. So I am in here with Ooh, this nasty just, creature. <laughs> just in front of this nasty creature, huh? Yeah, but I'm a grave digger. I've seen some evil. <laughs> I'm not You've seen worse. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess that we should fight this creature, right? Mm -hmm. So that's that's your fir your first action was to explore that. You still have one more. Action. I have one action left. Yeah, yeah. I guess I'm going to have to attack this hunting horror yeah. because well, I'll have to evade him to do anything else anyway. So True. I have a strength of four. So this guy has five health, and so I'm going to attack him with the crowbar, which is a heavy weapon. A fury overtakes you. That such a creature can exist strikes you as an affront to nature itself and you resolve to rectify the universe's terrible mistake. You beat down the creature with all of the strength you can muster. Okay, so I need to roll strength of two and I have four. Okay, I got it. Uh, you channel your rage into a series of vicious blows. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So the crowbar is two, so two plus your test result is two, so that's four damage. Okay, mm -hmm. so he still has one damage, but I am now out of actions, which leads us on to the mythos phase. You notice too late that the ground is covered in a slick ooze. This mythos effect affects the investigator with the lowest observation. So I've got four. Observation of four. Okay, so when it's a draw, then we can decide between us uh, which one we want to go with. I have more blue, so I can take the heat. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And you're about to be attacked. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we'll affect you with it. So Ming Ti Pan will be affected with this. You struggle to keep your footing. So you need oh. to beat an agility of two. Agility. I have four. Oh, okay. but I am Minty Pan, so I can reroll one die in a turn. So, okay, okay let me reroll one die first. Yeah, if you get a, an elder sign this time, at least you can turn it blue. Nice! Oh, I get an elder sign, so I will use one clue to turn this into an elder sign. Okay, and you pass, so you manage to keep your balance. Okay, so the hunting horror is now going to attack me. The creature coils one of its myriad appendages around you, so I have to do a test strength of two. Oh, let's see, so four. Oh, one. Okay, so I'm going to spend a clue, and that brings this up to two. So I pass, and I manage to force my way free of its writhing grip. Okay, and now we have to do a horror check, so... So you're the only one who's gonna do a horror check. Yeah. Because you're the closest to the creature. And that's right, okay, so I take a horror check. The creature rattles deep in its throat, then begins to speak in clear, unambiguous words. The last words of its many victims, one after the other. So I suffer three horror, but I can negate with willpower, which I have a willpower of four. Oh. Three, two, two, okay. I can turn that last one though into a success, but I'm thinking maybe I should try to keep that in case I can't beat him in the fight. So I'm going to take one horror. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay, and the horror card is taken face up, and I get a minor shock. <sighs> your heart races and your breath catches in your throat. There's no additional effect, and I flip this card face down. Okay. Okay, and that's the end of the mythos phase. Okay, so it's back to the investigator phase. I guess I should go first and attack this guy. Yeah. Right? Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'd like to get in and talk to that butler. 
So talk to Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> talk to Eugene and find out what's going on in this crazy house. So I'm going to attack with my crowbar. You dodge behind the creature and swing your weapon where you hope a spine might be. Mm. I can't tell if he actually has a spine. Look at him. And so I have to get... I don't think he has spine. Yeah. Very wiggly. He looks very <laughs> spineless, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, so I need to be two and... Wow. Wow. Okay, so I fail. But um, um, you still have one uh, clue, right? I have one reroll with... Oh, but we're not in the same range. No, we're yeah. not yet because I've gone through the door. So there's no point in me wasting my clue to just get one. Okay, the beast becomes aware of your attack before it connects and manages to avoid the brunt of it. Okay, so I'll attack it one more time with my crowbar. And once again, I'm swinging at it hoping to hit where a spine might be. Yeah. Take him down now. Come on, William. Oh, you have to re-roll this one. Yeah, this one's on a corner, so... Yeah, it's in a corner. Oh, okay, so one, and I'll spend a clue to turn a second one into an elder mm. sign, and that means I pass. You slam into the back of the creature, and it lurches forward. The monster suffers damage equal to the weapon's damage plus your test result. So that's once again four. He's totally dead. That's it. <laughs> he is now gone. A nasty creature. The creature lurches to the ground, dead. Hearing the monster's final fate, the old man in the kitchen cautiously steps out. Okay, and mm -hmm. that's my two actions, so... Okay, so my action is I want to explore this, this uh, room. Mm -hmm. Okay, the door leads to a large front room of the mansion. You swing the door open into the warmly lit lounge. Large plush chairs and sofa decorate the lavish sitting room and a small bar stocked with bootlegged liquor is tucked into the corner next to the east door. Behind the bar, a large chest catches your eye. A large wooden table stands against the wall beneath a portrait of a stern-looking man. A small wooden desk stacked with books and other items stands against one wall. Among the items you spot something useful. Okay, and the King James Bible is in there. Hmm. A door on the other side of the room leads to the back hall. You may move one space into the explored area. Okay, so I go here and I still have one left action. Okay, so I'm going to check out the chest. You move to open the chest but find it locked with a heavy padlock. The device is sturdy but you believe you could pick the lock. So mm. do you want to try to pick the lock? Yes. Okay, and you'll be using observation for this. Observation. I have an observation of four. Okay, so that gives you four moves. Four moves for the puzzle. All right, so I'll move the top one left. And you can also, if you like, spend a clue token to get an extra action. All right, so I'll move this up. Okay, three, four. I will use my clue token to move this down. And another clue token to move this here. Oh, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside the chest, you find a grotesque statuette of an octopoid dragon and something else that might be of use. Okay, so I get one extra clue token and the Holy Cross, which allow me to roll one additional die while resolving a will test and the grotesque stone which is an evidence, thousands of years seem to be recorded in the stages dim and greenish surface of unrecognizable stone. Oh, mm. okay. And back to the mythos phase. A low song just beyond the edge of hearing wafts through the air. This mythos event affects the investigator who has the most items. I think that's me. Yeah, yeah. I have only two. Your palms become clammy and your pulse races. A wave of powerful ruinous greed runs through you. Do a willpower of one. Willpower, I have a willpower of three. So and you can do a, an extra roll, right? Because yeah. of your holy cross. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> 
Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. So you master yourself until the feeling passes. And there's no enemies this time. So we're back to the investigator phase. Okay, so I think that we should have a chat with uh, Eugene. Yeah, I think so. We need to find out what's happening in this mansion. Yeah, it's crazy. Okay, so the old man brushes himself off and tries to calm his shaken composure. You came just in time. Thank you so much for saving me. The name is Eugene. We spoke earlier today. I have heard noises from the yard, but the door is locked. I think something bad is going to happen. So now we can ask him if he's okay, or we can ask him where is Mr. Vanderbilt? Ask him where is Mr. Vanderbilt? Yeah, we don't yeah. care if he's okay or not. <laughs> where is Mr. Vanderbilt? Those ruffians took Mr. Vanderbilt to the yard. You can get to the yard through the west door of the hall, but the door is locked. Mr. Vanderbilt likely keeps the key in his... Wait, I'm not sure if he would want me trusting you with this. Oh, okay, so I have to do a test of influence. So I have three dice for influence. She should be very, very persuasive. <laughs> yeah, make sure that you persuade Eugene. Two. Two, okay. All right, Mr. Vanderbilt keeps a strange puzzle box in the dresser in his bedroom at the end of the front hall. I believe he stores the key to the yard inside. The puzzle box can be difficult to open, but there is a trick. The butler instructs you how to open the puzzle box. So that gives me a clue. So it is in the dresser in Mr. Vanderbilt's bedroom. Okay, mm -hmm. so I've got, I've got one action left. I can check the china cabinet or... Yeah. I, I'd like to get that blade, but I actually have a heavy weapon, so... So maybe you could just check the china cabinet. Maybe something useful is in there. Yeah, it could be, or should I make my way in here? I want to explore and see if there's anything in there, just in case I can get some clues or something. So I'm going to use my second action, just to go a little bit deeper. So I'm going to go one, two, and come in here. But that's my two actions now. Okay. So for me, I think he said at the end of the hallway, so I think I should explore here. All right. So my first... You don't uh, need the Bible. No, I don't think we need that for now. So my first action is to move here, and my second action is to explore this door. Okay. The door leads deeper into the mansion. The hall continues from the bathroom hall towards the side of the mansion. Someone acting in a hurry has knocked over a stack of papers. Two doors lead to other rooms of the mansion. You could use the surrounding furniture to barricade the door should the need arise. And you may move one space into the explored area. Okay, so I will go here. Mm -hmm. All right, so Sorry. that's your two actions, is it? Yeah. Or is that just one? No, oh, it's two, two because you moved, yeah. right. All right, we're back to the mythos phase. A cacophony of creaks and knocks erupts all around you. This mythos event affects the investigator with the lowest lore. So I've got three. I've got three. I haven't had any horror yet, so I can I take the hit one. again. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. So this will affect Minty Pan. The sound is unnerving and you fear what could be causing it. So do a will test and you need to get two. Okay, so I have a will, willpower of three and I have the Holy Cross, so additional one. Nice. Wow, okay. Uh, so the sound must just be vermin in the walls. I should search this one. This might be something important. It's a pile of paper there, so... Okay, uh, I'm on the other side of the house, but yeah. I just I think that we should just check around and see if there's any clues in here as to mm -hmm. what's going on. I will search this stack of papers. Okay. Amidst the mundane paperwork, you find a weathered page covered in a strange script. Someone has scrawled a note in English across the top of the page. Speak these words for great power. So would you mm. like to recite the script or return the papers? Yeah, let's recite the script. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've searched it already, so... <laughs> <laughs> the eldritch words take on a life of their own as you speak them, reshaping your mind with new understanding of the script you are looking at. The lights flicker and you hear a whisper in your ear. Power comes with a price. Gain the wither spell. Okay, wither. As the spell takes effect, the victim's body withers and mummifies. Oh, mm. nasty. Okay. 
Okay, and my second action is, I think I should explore further. Or should I explore the other? I guess that one's beside you, so... Yeah, because yeah. I'm already here anyway. Yeah. All right, so I will explore this room. A weathered door stands at the end of the hall. You hear bizarre noises from the other side. When you try the handle, you find the door is locked. A keyhole sits beneath the brass door handle. Mm. Mm, so you're not able to explore in there. So you still have it, one action. So we're going to have to find a key to get in there. In there. Mm. I should have go back here and find... Maybe the, maybe we find something in here. Yeah, there's still a few places we haven't explored. Yeah. I've got a couple over here and we haven't explored that part of the mansion either. So mm. I guess... Well, that's where we have to go, right? Mm -hmm. That door beside you, so... Let me let me find this one first, and then maybe we start exploring on that side. Sure. Okay, so let me just go here then. So, one. Okay, mm -hmm. and back to me. So, I am going to... I'll go a little deeper. So, my first action is to move. Uh, so you can move two spaces at a time, but you can interrupt your movement to do another action and then continue your movement afterwards. So I'll move one and I'll search here and then move back, depending on what I find. So someone has locked the cabinet by wrapping chains around the handles. Uh, William is going to do a search there. And the chain is sturdy, but the cabinet doors are made of thin wood. You think you could break one of the doors off. So I have to do a strength roll, but I can roll two additional dice if I have the crowbar. And I have the crowbar, so I will do a roll of six. Okay, so there are only five dice, so I have to do five in the first roll and then one in the next. Ooh. Oh my god, is that a big zero? Yeah. Okay, and I have to roll one more. Okay, and then I'll use my clue for the second one to turn this into an elder sign. Mm -hmm. And that gives me two. That was a really bad roll. Yeah. But two is enough. The flimsy yeah. wood cracks as you pull the cabinet door off its hinges. So we get the sedatives. Oh. Uh, so the sedatives is equipment. At the start of your turn, you may discard three damage and three horror. Wow, that's wow. nice. And then you discard this card. Well, that's that's good. Anyway, I've got I've got some sedatives. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I still have one movement left. So William is going to come back here. And uh, so we're back to the mythos phase. Turning, William York comes face to face with the unexpected shape of a monster. But it is, in fact, nothing more than a shadow cast by mundane objects. William York suffers one face down horror. <laughs> OK, so that yeah. gave him a big fright. It's very frightening. <laughs> yeah. And there is no monster, so we're back to the investigator phase. So Investigator. Okay, I will... Um, so okay, let me search this table. You dig through the dense paperwork cluttering the desk, looking for anything of interest. So you have to do an observation roll. So my observation... I have an observation of four. Oh, one. Okay, one. Maybe that's not enough. Oh, but yeah. I have a... I know. I have per once per round, I have Minthi's re-roll special ability. Okay. So I'll let me re-roll one. Ah, oh. still nothing. So one. Okay, one. As you shuffle through the seemingly endless paperwork covering the desk, you spot a weathered journal that looks out of place amidst the mundane clutter. The cover of the journal is marked Lilith Vanderbilt. Gain the old journal unique item. And you'll be able to read through this uh, using the app at any stage. This journal entry in the culprit's own handwriting is practically a confession. Wow, okay. Oh. Let's read the journal. Okay. So, the journal of Lilith Vanderbilt. The pages are torn and frayed from hard use. So, it's an yeah. action to read it, right? Yeah. You turn to an entry from several years ago. William has gotten increasingly secretive since he started that astronomy association. He has been working on some secret project in the yard and even installed a lock and alarm to keep people out. What he does not know is that I have found the switch he installed in the secret room behind the library. I can use it to unlock the door to the yard when he is gone. You gain oh. a clue. 
Mm. Oh, that was okay. nice. Yeah, so that's my two action. The journal entries continue on for several months. You can continue reading as an action. Okay. No, I, I don't think we should. I should waste my time reading it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so um, the, he said the secret room behind the library, right? I'm, I don't no, want to waste... No, at the end of the hallway. So I think we should explore these three doors. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if it's worth wasting my actions on these. And I'm afraid that if we take too long to yeah. complete the mission, then uh, some nasty stuff's going to happen. So, okay, well, my first action, I'm going to move. Uh, do I want this blade? You know what? I have a crowbar and it's a stronger weapon, so yeah. I'm going to leave the blade. So my second action is here. Mm -hmm. Why, hello, Eugene. Eugene is just saying, please hurry. Mr. Vanderbilt is in danger. <laughs> okay, so I better hurry or he's going to get angry with me. So I'm going to use my second action to move as well. So William strolls out into the hallway and then continues on up the hallway. So that's your second action. That's my second action. So we're back to the mythos phase, right? Mm -hmm. William York suddenly stumbles and falls into a pit that extends deep into the earth. After falling for what feels like a lifetime, he slams hard into the ground where he started. William York suffers two damage and one horror, but I can use observation to negate it. So his observation is four. And the abscess should get a plus one die. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's five. Okay, come on. You better get so this two damage. One. <laughs> I need three, right? Wow. wow I get it. <laughs> oh. Yeah, he'll never suffer horror again with rolls like that. <laughs> Okay, and so he doesn't suffer any damage there. A robed figure appears from a secret door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There's someone here! You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them! Spawn a cultist, as indicated. Oh, and he's in the same room as you, right? Yeah, I better get out and explore the other room. The cultist moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator and then attacks the investigator with the lowest observation. So I have four. And I have four. But I suppose I have it a makes sense. Token, you're, yeah. you're in the room with him. <laughs> so. Oh. Okay. And I will face him bravely. <laughs> the cultist wraps grimy hands around your neck, squeezing tight. So I have to do a strength test of two. So I have three. Sign. Oh, oh I got you it. got it. Well done. Mm -hmm. You pry the fingers from your neck and the cultist finally relents when you hear them snap. Oh, mm -hmm. he's been hurt. Okay, and now we have to resolve a horror check. So that's just going to be you. The cultist whispers a message that only you can hear. Your friends seek to slay you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's a willpower test of one. One. So I have a willpower of three plus my holy cross. So four. That cross is useful. Ah, okay. One. And you beat it. So you ignore the lies. And we're back to the investigator phase. Okay. Yeah, I think I need to attack this cultist. Yeah, I think you should go ahead and do that. Okay, so I will attack him and I'm going to use a spell. You're going to attack with a spell. Okay. Under pressure, you struggle with your arcane knowledge, attempting to recall the appropriate words and gestures to shape the magic. So you have to do a lore test and beat two. Oh, I only have three. Oh, I need to beat two. Luck. Oh, I oh got my it. god! Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you manage to make sense of the information floating around in your mind, and with impeccable form, you conjure the power you desire. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. Oh, so that's two for the wither and a three, so five. Okay, and that takes him out. He only had a strength of three. Okay. And then you have to flip your spell. For a moment, you see yourself in the face of your victim. Suffer one face down horror. And discard this card and gain another wither spell. All right. Discard this one, and you gain another wither spell. A ah, new wither spell. And my second action is, I think I need to go further this room, so I will walk. One, two. Mm -hmm. All right, and 
Yeah, I think I'd like to go deeper and see if there's anything else in the house. So William is going to go up here to the hall and explore. You suspect the unmarked door leads to a bedroom. Okay, so let me explore here. The door opens into a bedroom that seems modest compared to the decor in the rest of the mansion. Near the door, a small writing desk holds an immense book. A large dresser stands against the wall beside the master bed. You may move one space into the explored area. Okay, so I still have one movement left. I'll use my other movement to come down here. So now William would like to check out the large dresser. Mm, I hope the key is there. In one of the drawers you find the puzzle box the butler spoke of. So I get the puzzle box unique item. The investigator holding this puzzle box can attempt to open it by interacting with the app. So the puzzle box, the intricate patterns seem to shift and change as you move the panels. You cannot imagine what prize awaits you. I can imagine it's probably yeah. a key. <laughs> probably the key that we're looking for. Yeah, so that's my two actions, unfortunately. So I can't search it on this turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're back to the mythos. With so many drawers and cabinets, surely you will be able to find some evidence here. This mythos event affects the investigator in a bedroom or office with the lowest sanity. Okay, well I'm in a bedroom, so that's going to affect William. You open drawers looking for clues. Instead, you find that the drawers are filled with bloody body parts. Okay, so I have to do observation and beat two. Mm. Keep body parts in his drawers. drawers. And so my observation is four. And I got one. I don't have any clues, right? I have nowhere, no way of fading that. Okay, okay, so I fail. I s you stumble backward in terror, suffer two horror. Okay, and my horror is panic. Scrambling backward, you fall over and hurt yourself. The pain brings you back into focus. So I suffer one additional face down damage. Mm -hmm. Okay, one damage, and then this card goes face down. And my second horror, paranoia. Every noise makes you startle and jump. Even your companions unnerve you. Whenever you end your turn within range of another investigator, flip one horror face up. Ooh, that's nasty. And this one stays face up. Investigator. Investigator, yeah. I think I should explore this room further. Uh, so a wooden plaque marked library is fastened to the center of the door. You want to yeah. explore? Yeah, explore. The door creaks on its hinges as they push it open to reveal the library. Bookshelves line the walls. A pile of research materials that have been recently used sits on a small wooden desk. A robed figure is pushing a bookshelf back into place. The robed figure draws out a strange idol and begins chanting. Before your very eyes, a terrifying creature appears out of thin air. The cult member speaks some words to it in a strange language but the creature turns on him, tearing him to pieces before you rise. And then you have to suffer two horror, but you can negate it with willpower. Willpower. So your holy cross is going yeah. to be useful to you again here. I have a willpower here. of three plus my holy cross. Oh, I need two. Oh, oh nice, okay. You may move one space into the explored area. Yeah, I will bravely go inside. <laughs> <laughs> I need those clues behind you. <laughs> Minty Pan's a brave, brave yeah. girl. <laughs> so okay. my second action is to attack him. Can't let these monsters room around the mansion <laughs> no, while no, we're looking for clues. Yeah, they seriously get in the way. So how would you like to attack him? I will attack him with my spell. Okay. As the arcane words reach your lips, you find yourself alone, standing before a swirling black portal. You try to work up the courage to pass through it. So you need to beat two in a will test. Will test. So again with my holy cross, I have four dice. That's very useful. Two, okay. You howl and charge through and find yourself back where you stood. The howl is still issuing from your throat as black energy arcs through the creature before you. The monster suffers damage equal to the spell's damage plus your test result. 
So uh, the spell is two and I have two. So that's four, four. and mm -hmm. he has a strength of five, so he's oh still alive. Lord. And then you flip the, the spell. For a moment, you see yourself in the face of your victim. Suffer one face down horror, then discard this card and gain another wither spell. Okay, so that's okay. my two actions. That's your two actions, okay. Okay, so William is going to have a look at his puzzle box. The ornate puzzle box features numerous sliding panels. So I can attempt to open it using my observation. So my observation is four. Ooh, and four uh, so that gives me four moves. Um, that go oh, easy. No, easy. No, no, no. Three. Mm. Inside the box you find what looks like a personal planner. As you lift the book, a brass key clatters from between the pages. You turn to the page it had been holding and find a note scrolled there. If the alignment truly weakens the veil, I believe that it is the only moment we have to break through. I will make the necessary preparations in the gated yard. So I gain the brass key and incriminating evidence unique items. Oh, there's the key. Yeah, and we've got the evidence we need yeah. as well. Then I think we should start moving forward to this. And this is very mysterious room. <laughs> it yeah. is. That's there's noises coming from there. So I have a feeling that's where we need to get to. Do okay. you still have one more action? So I have one more action indeed. Uh, I'd like to get a clue somehow so that I can fight. But I've only got movement left. Yeah. So I will go one, two. Mm -hmm. William leaves the bedroom the hall mm. and now we get our mythos phase minty pan suddenly drops to her knees clutching at her gut her skin bulges and distends as something moves beneath it twisting within her innards minty pan suffers one face down damage and one horror oh one face what down what is happening damage to you minty pan and one ho the horror is face down too they're both face down yeah mm -hmm. Mm -hmm horror now that's right I've got the sedative so I can discard three damage and three horror okay so the hunting horror is going to move three spaces towards the investigator within range with the lowest sanity so he's not going to go out the door yeah. so it is you and he will attack the beast stalks into the shadows then circles around to attack from the rear suffer two face down damage but your observation minus one negates Mm, my observation is four. So you get three. Uh, minus one. And you have to be two. I need to be two. Okay, so I have I have two glue. And don't you get a reroll for Yes, I have a reroll, so I'm going to use Minty Pan's reroll ability. Oh, that's nice. good. And I will use one of my clue token to turn this into success. Excellent. So that's two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and he doesn't fool anyone. <laughs> mm. And now you have to do a horror check against him. Okay. How can such a monster exist? It flutters on wings too small to support its bulk, sliding sinuously through spaces where it should not fit. It's every movement sends a terrible thrill running down your spine. Suffer three horror, but you can negate with willpower minus one. So I have a willpower of three, so two plus my holy cross, so three. Oh. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> okay, then <Yeah>. nothing. <laughs> that's fantastic, that was a great roll. All right, and that's the end of the mythos phase. investigator phase so I will attack him okay yeah so my first action is to attack this guy yeah I don't want to use my spell so I will attack him unarmed okay that's very brave of you <laughs> as you approach the creature you meet its gaze and the unknowable alien intelligence you see strikes a deep devouring fear into your heart you try to persevere and complete your attack so willpower of two. So I have a willpower of three, and this holy cross is that very helpful. That has been amazing. Yeah, yeah. 
Wow! <laughs> oh, that's really good. Like, three success. <laughs> okay, so that's it. You managed to bury the fear long enough to strike at the very eyes that so affected you, and the creature recoils in pain. The monster suffers three damage. So yeah, that's he's it. Dead. He's gone. That haunting horror is out of here. Yeah, so that's my first action. And my second action, I'm gonna meet you here because I think this is a very important room. So okay. I'll go one, two. All right. Mm -hmm. And that's it. We're, it's my turn now, right? Yeah, Where's your the... turn. Okay, so I'm a bit worried about this paranoia. Whenever I end my turn within range of another investigator, I flip one horror face up. So. But you still have the sedative. So. Yeah, so that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. I might use the sedative. So at the start of your turn, you may discard three damage and three horror. If you do discard this card and end your turn. Oh, so that'll be my full turn. Yeah. But that's what I'm going to do because I think something nasty is going to be down there. And this is very hard to take. So I get rid of three horror, including this paranoia. And I just have one damage. And that means I discard the sedatives. And that is the end of my turn. Okay, so we'll go to Mitha's face now. Unbidden, the terrible things you have seen risen up from your memory where they were safely locked away. Each investigator flips two horror face up. Oh, it's good I got Whoa. rid of those. Okay, so I just have one. I have two, so minor shock. Ah, your heart races and your breath catches in your throat. Resolve immediately. No additional effect. Flip this card face down. Okay. And my other horror is minor shock. Again. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, okay. so it's the same. And mine was also minor shock, so we got away lightly there. And this goes face down. A robed figure appears from a side door and begins searching around. Upon seeing signs of other people, the figure yells, There is someone here! You hear a muffled response from another part of the estate. Get rid of them! Oh, right. And it didn't swear. occur to him that it might actually just be Eugene the butler. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's probably a bit of a mess after all the battles yes. with those nasty creatures. The robed figure sneaks into the dining room and comes face to face with Eugene. The butler yells in fright and flees into the entryway. No! Oh. Ah! The cultist moves two space towards the nearest investigator, then it attacks the investigator in its space with the lowest influence. So but you there's won't no... reach both of us. Okay, and there is no creatures for a horror check, so we just go back to the investigator phase. Um, I think you sh I think you should go first so you can open the room. Okay, there's no need to talk to Eugene about mm. who these could be, no? I don't think so. I think that will be a waste of action. We already have the key and he, he already yeah. gave us enough information. <laughs> yeah. We know we know where William is. Okay, so my first action, I will move two spaces and then I will explore down here. So a weathered door stands at the end of the hall. You hear bizarre noises from the other side. When you try the handle, you find the door is locked. A keyhole sits beneath the brass door handle. You can explore only if you have the brass key, unique item, which I have. So I'm going to explore for my second action. As you open the door to the yard, a damp wind kicks ash from the nearby fire pit into the air of the walled off side yard. A massive circle of runes has been carved into the earth. Beneath a bush in the yard, you spot something useful. Heavy weapon. You may suffer two face down damage to convert all investigation to elder sign while attacking with this card. Oh, okay. Two robed figures stand across from each other over the ritual circle, chanting. The one nearest to you seems to be in some kind of trance and hardly acknowledges your approach. The other figure lowers the hood of his robe and points at you with an ornate dagger. What are you doing on my property? You are meddling in things you do not understand and you will die for it. So this is William Vanderbilt. Oh, so he's up to some nasty, nasty deeds. <laughs> oh. Yeah, when you, William Vanderbilt begins chanting a heinous incantation that causes reality to warp and shift. A terrible creature slips through the fabric of reality and into our world. So we've got a hunting horror there in the library. 
cool. The creatures are just starting coming out. Yeah, I hope we don't get many of these. Oh, hold on. Elsewhere in the mansion, a second horrifying being breaches the barrier between worlds. The ritual circle on the ground is scattered with candles, skulls and other trinkets. If you could get these ritual components, you could stop the cult's vile magics and have enough proof to condemn the Vanderbilt family. You may move one space into the explored area, which I will do. Dangerous though it may be. So that is my second action, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you moved and then you explored the area. Okay, so you must interrupt the ritual taking place before it is complete. I think I should go back and because this, this ones are going to be very dangerous. No, let's let's try to because we can fight them together in a while. Let's okay. try to stop the ritual first. Okay, so then I move in, so that's one, and then I will attack the cultists. And how will you attack? Because uh, I have a horror of the you know I don't want to go insane yet. Oh right. Well, you can yeah. take four more horror, right? Okay, let me use this one. I will use the wither spell. As you call upon the terrible energies needed to craft your curse, voices in your mind push you to reach for ever more power. So you do a lore and you must beat two. Uh, but if you've suffered three or more horror, you can roll two additional dice. So how many horror have you suffered? Uh, three. Oh, okay. So you can roll two additional dice. Two additional. So I have a lore of three plus two, right? Yep. Wow, wow three. okay, three. You cackle gleefully as otherworldly energy erupts from your hands. The monster suffers damage equal to your test result. So that's, that's three, three, right? So that kills him. And then you flip your spell. The spell writhes in your mind like a living thing, lashing out at random around you. Suffer one face down damage, then discard, discard, and gain another wither spell. still have a second action okay so I no, I will use I will take this one okay a ritual circle is carved into the ground and scattered with components you attempt to retrieve the ritual components but a malign energy protects them so as an action then you can this, disrupt the ritual yeah using your gut and scraps of knowledge you have gathered you attempt to remove the items without triggering the defensive magic so you have to do a lore test and you may discard any number of evidence to convert an equal number of investigation results to Elder Sign results. So my lore is three. Okay. I have two. Two, okay. Uh, but I don't have any have investigation results. Okay. You remove several items successfully, but you trip up, causing the magic to lash out at you and burn your skin. So you suffer one face down damage. So that's my uh, second action. Okay, so we're back to the mythos phase. The corridor in front of you twists and stretches on forever. It is impossibly long. Impossible. Each investigator in a hall or alley suffers two horror. But we are neither in a hall or alley. Okay, so the cultist moves two spaces towards the nearest investigator. Vanderbilt moves two spaces to be within range of as many investigators as possible. Then it attacks the investigator in range with the lowest lore. And my lore is three. And I have three. Can okay, I can this take day? this one, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Vanderbilt smiles and makes a series of strange gestures. You gird yourself for a horrible spell, but instead your foe throws a knife at you. Okay, observation two. Oh, that's yeah. sneaky of him, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I've Hope got you an observation get more than of two. four. <laughs> Ooh, wow! <laughs> okay, uh, so I realize the ruse just in time and the blade hardly touches me. Suffer one face down damage. Okay, that was, that was lucky I spotted that. The hunting horror moves up to three spaces to be in range of as many investigators as possible. Wow, we need an attack, attacking spree. Okay, then it attacks each investigator within range. Okay. The creature emits an ear-piercing cry. You are uncertain whether the sound emerges from
from some orifice or is simply the result of its writhing claws scraping against its slate grey hide. Willpower 2. And we both have to do this. Okay, so I have a willpower of 3 plus my holy cross. That holy cross. So if I ever get stuck in a oh. scary mansion, I'm bringing a holy cross with me. <laughs> I get three. 3. Excellent. Okay, so you pass and you cover your ears and block out the pain. And I have got a will of 4. One. Oh, you can use my uh, re-roll ability. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you. I shall do that. Yes. Um, ah, it was a waste. Okay, so I fail. The sound deafens you to everything but the echoing scream that suddenly sounds all too human. Suffer two face down damage and become dazed. And dazed means you cannot spend clues to convert dice results or perform additional puzzle steps, but I can discard this at the end of my turn. It's not too bad because I can't actually... I don't have... You don't have clues use clues anyway. that I don't have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and I get two new face down damage here. Okay, and this other hunting horror is also going to move three spaces. Wow, these guys are fast. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> they so really don't want us it. to interrupt this ritual, do they? Okay, and it attacks both of us. Once again, the same thing happens. It emits an air piercing cry. You're uncertain whether the sound emerges from some orifice or is simply the result of its writhing claws scraping against its lake grey hide. So we have to do will of two. Okay, so again, holy cross, so plus one. Give me two. Oh, oh. We already used minthi pan. Okay, so yeah, I, I fail. Okay, um, the sound deafens you to everything but the echoing scream that suddenly sounds all too human. So for two face down damage and become dazed. Okay, so two face down damage and I am dazed. Okay. Same as what happened to you, I cannot use clue tokens. That's it's right. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now I have got a willpower of four. Let's hope we're more successful this time than yeah. the last time. Yeah. Oh, you got okay, it. Okay, so you cover your ears and block out the pain. Simple mm -hmm. as that. All we had to do was this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now we have to do a horror check, uh, but just against the one with the highest horror rating. So we both have to take a horror check against the hunting horror. Hunting horror, yeah. So eat both of them are the same, right? So we'll take this one here. Okay, so our horror check, if there's more than one monster there, we only need to take a horror check against one of them, and it's the one with the highest horror rating, which is the number on the bottom right hand side there, the blue number. So both of these hunting horrors are six, so we can take it against either one. So we'll take our horror check against this guy here. The creature makes a strange whistling noise that pierces through the din of flapping wings and gripping tail. Willpower of two. So out oh. with the, the Holy Cross again. Holy Cross. <laughs> Always give me two success. Oh, two clues. Two oh. clues. That's nasty. Okay, yeah, that's so. That's really nasty. You are deafened for a moment, and through the ringing silence, you hear the distant sound of screams. Oh. Suffer too hard and become dazed. But you're already dazed, so yeah. that won't happen. Oh you get my too god, far. I'm gonna be. Oh. Are they face down or no? No, they're, they're regular. Okay. So, minor shock. Ah, your heart raises and your breath catches in your throat. Resolve immediately, no additional effect. Flip this card face down. And the other one is the same. Minor oh, sure. shock. Oh, at least that's lucky. Yeah. So, you can only take one more horror. Yeah. But I have one that can. And then you go insane. <laughs> insane you don't have anything that can heal a horror no i can heal one of them later as one of my moves i think you should do that yeah, yeah. You? okay and now um, i'm scared now <laughs> all of them are there if we evade them like we have to yeah, kill we all only of have them. to evade the the highest number one though okay yeah. so we can we can run if we figure this out so what what am i testing will Okay, so it's four and one. one. So I 
fail, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I fail as well. Okay, and I can't choose any clues even if I had them. Yeah, because we're both days. So I suffer too horror and panic. You scream, leaping desperately away and tumble to the ground. Suffer one additional face down damage. And flip this card face down. Okay, and it said face down damage, right? Yeah. And the other one is just a minor shock, so that's okay. Oh, this isn't easy, is yeah. it? Yeah, they're all in our area, so I think we're just gonna invade them. And, and yeah, but well, we, we need have to. to get, yeah. yeah, so we have to to take an action that isn't an attack. Uh, we have to evade the monster before we can do that. But we only have to evade the highest rated monster. So mm -hmm. back to the investigator phase. So, all right, so I think I should remove one of my horror. Okay, so if you want to do an action that isn't going to fight the monster, then you're going to have to do an evade check against the monster with the highest uh, evade uh, value, which is the green number here in the top right. So, if you are doing that, you need to beat the hunting horror yes. who has an evade of mm -hmm. five. Okay, let me let me evade them. Okay, so in your haste to escape the creature, you slip and careen out of control. Suffer two face down damage, but your agility minus one will negate it. So my agility is my agility is four. Good luck. Okay, oh. so you got just one. If you suffer one or more damage, you collide with something unyielding and painful. Forfeit your action. So you can't do the action and you'll suffer one damage face down. Okay, so then that means I have to forfeit my first action. Yeah. I think I will just attack him for my second action. Okay, but you've only got your spell. Your, your horror is starting to build up there, right? Although they're going to attack, so maybe it might be an idea. Well, they've they've got strength of five, and they've got health of five. The hunting horrors. Thunderbolt has six, and the hunting horrors have five. Yeah. And we've got a cultist on the way as well. <laughs> okay, let me evade him again. Okay. The creature lands in front of you and emits a sound halfway between a hiss and a scream. Do a willpower test, and you have to beat two. So my willpower is three plus a uh, holy cross. Okay. Two. Oh, I got two, it. You two. did it. Yeah. Okay. You keep your calm and escape. So I will discard the holy water. So discard one horror and become focused. Then discard, discard. So I discard one horror and I become focused. Yes. And that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's my second action. Okay, so you can get rid of your days now. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, and it's back to me. So I think I'm going to do the same, but I'm going to try to disrupt the ritual. Ritual. So I have to do an evade action before I do that. It'd be nice to kill all those, but it just yeah. looks a bit too dangerous, doesn't but it? But it's they, they are too uh, powerful. Like you're gonna spend air action killing them yeah i've already taken four damage although yeah. i'll get wounded and then i'll have a another seven damage so i'm okay at the moment but i think it's best to evade and just try to get the get find what's there because there. i do have my uh, elder sign pendant and that allows me to roll one additional die when evading a monster oh that's good so i'll try that so i need to evade the haunting horror the creature lashes out with a rubbery black appendage and catches hold of one of your items. Okay, so I have to use strength of two. So I have four and I get to roll one extra die because of my elder sign pendant. That's five. Okay, two. Two, okay, I pass. So I throw the creature off and pull myself free. That means then for my first action, I am going to try to disrupt the ritual. ritual. Using your gut and scraps of knowledge you have gathered, you attempt to remove the items without triggering the defensive magic. So I have to do a lore test and I can discard any number of evidence to convert an equal number of clues 
to Elder Science. And so my lore is three. One. Okay, you and I have evidence, yeah. So, okay, so I can discard my incriminating evidence, and that will allow me to convert one of these into an elder sign. So, I have got two successes. Carefully performing each step, you remove the components from the ritual circle. Almost immediately, some of the malign energy seems to fade from the air around you. You have put an end to the cult's vile scheme. Gain the ritual components' unique item. Yeah. So we need to get, get out of there. Ritual components. Evidence. A collection of eerie objects to be used for some heinous ritual. <laughs> okay. And now we just have to get out of here. Yeah. Okay. The investigation is complete if an investigator escapes the mansion with ritual components unique item. Investigators win the game when the investigation is complete to get the hell out of here <laughs> it means only one of us if one of us one of us needs to get out but we have to be carrying the ritual components so which is you that's what okay. I have at the moment yeah you still have a second action so I think you should evade and then yeah I'll evade and run run mm -hmm. so I'm going to try to evade <laughs> and that's the hunting horror the creature rises up above you where you lose track of it in the gloom. Suffer two damage, but observation minus one negates. So my observation is four, minus one is three, and then I can use the Elder Sign Pendant and that brings me back up to four. So I need two. None. Okay, I suffer two damage, so that brings you up to six, so I can just take one more. And now, sorry to leave you there, but uh, I'm out of here. So one, two. two. Okay, so that's the that's the. That's end. my second yeah. action, right? Okay, and ethos phase. Ethos phase. Without warning, your feet take off under someone else's command. After what seems like hours, you are back where you started, and the exhausting trip ends. Each investigator suffers two face down damage, but we can negate with strength. I have a strength of three. How many do we need to get? Two. Two. So okay, two. nice. Yeah, mm -hmm. you succeed. And uh, I have a strength of four. Wow! Oh, wow. <laughs> Okay, I would kill one yeah. monster. <laughs> so that means that neither of us suffered there. Now the cultist moves two spaces towards the closest investigator, which is here. And no investigators in the space. And Vanderbilt is going to move two spaces within range of as many investigators as possible, and then it investigates each within range. So it's not going to move. He's going to attack, right? Mm -hmm. So he's going to attack you, unfortunately. Vanderbilt mumbles a dark chant. You feel something writhing within your skin. So for two face down damage. So that's you now get wounded, right? Wounded, yeah. Uh, so I remove all of this. Yeah, so you remove all those oh, and one, you get two, a three, wound. Four, five, six, seven. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wounded. Wow. You cannot perform the move action more than once each round. When you have suffered damage equal to your health, you are eliminated. Oh, okay. Oh. If you can get out to me, I can push you. Mm -hmm. The hunting horror moves to be within range of as many as possible. So the two hunting horrors are going to attack you as well. The creature emits an ear piercing cry. You are uncertain whether the sound emerges from some orifice or is simply the result of its writhing claw scraping against its slate grey hide. So you have to do a will of two. So I have a will of three plus the holy cross. I get this one. Oh, I oh, got two. Oh, you got two. Nice. Mm -hmm. You cover your ears and block out the pain. Oh, and I can get rid of my dazed as well from the end of my turn. 
And one more is going to move three spaces towards the investigator within range with the highest strength. But it's not going to pass through a door, right? Yeah, that would be me again. So that's going to be you again, yeah. The creature loops up into the air and then streaks towards you in a sharp dive, talons outstretched. So for two damage, but your agility minus one negates. Right, so I have four agility and oh, come on. three. You need two. Oh, you one. But one. I have a re-roll. Oh, yes. Yeah, ability. So let me re-roll one. Oh, nice. Got it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you escaped. So now we have to do a horror check. Uh, so I'll have to do against the cultist and you'll have to do against the hunting horror. Uh, so I'll go first. You notice the cultist's skin ripple and churn, caused by some worm-like creatures flowing within him. So for one horror, but my uh, will, will negates, and I've got willpower of four. Three. Wow, ah. <laughs> my holes That's are getting so good, good now. Yeah. Okay, and you need to uh, do a horror check against the hunting horror. The creature vomits out a fleshy pink pulp that you fear might have once been a person. Suffer three horror. With your Look. willpower in the gates and your holy cross helps you out there. <laughs> I get four dice. Oh, well done. Okay, mm -hmm. so that negates all of them. Oh, okay. and this is gone. Okay, so I think it's back to us. I think I will, I should evade one of them. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you evade and try to run. Yes, okay. So I will evade the uh, hunting horror, it has the highest awareness. Yeah, and the creature lunges towards you and attempts to grab you. So you have to do a, an agility test and beat two. Okay, so I have an agility of four. Two. Nice, you got it, okay. Okay, so then I'm wounded, so I can move one, two. Okay, and you've got a yeah. second action. As for my second action, why don't I just push you? Because uh, I was oh, thinking yeah. of moving one, attack him, and move another. No, no, you're right. Push. Yeah, if you push me, then that'll move me to this <laughs> room, and then you get another. On your on your go, you can move to and then explore. explore. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's do it. And so I'm willing. So you're very you're just, willing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're not hesitating. No, right? no, I'm not. Well, push you there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and that's the end of your turn. Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Okay, and then for my turn, I go. Thanks for the push. <laughs> uh, I'll move two spaces. I'm not going to stop to talk to Eugene. Eugene. <laughs> <laughs> and for my second action, the mansion's front door is just in front of you. The investigation is complete if an investigator escapes the mansion with the ritual components unique item, which I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so investigators win the game when the investigation is complete. You can escape only if you have the ritual components unique item. So I will use that item and escape. Okay. You throw open the door and flee into the night, carrying the proof of Vanderbilt's heinous crimes with you. The investigation is complete. Each investigator wins the game unless an effect such as an insane condition specifies otherwise. None of us went insane. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You burst through the front door of the mansion and run for your vehicle, desperately clutching the components from the ritual site incontrovertible evidence of the cult and proof of their connection to the disappearances. Your vehicle splutters and slides as you accelerate down the uneven drive. If you can make it to the police department alive, the cult will surely be destroyed. You smash through the gates at the end of the drive and careen out into the road, leaving the Vanderbilt estate far behind you. It can be tempting to search for every clue in Mansions of Madness, but if you're too slow, the game will start throwing things at you and before you know it, you can get overwhelmed. The Holy Cross turned out to be very useful. I had to do a lot of tests of will and the extra die gave me a really great boost. The narrative gives you the clues to let you know what you have to do next. After William Yorick had his conversation with Eugene the butler, we knew we needed to go to the bedroom to get the key and from there we were able to unlock the door to the yard and put an end to the ritual. Minty Pan's ability to reroll a die was excellent. It saved us on a few occasions there. 
The sedatives was a really great item to find. Clearing up three horror and three damage in one go is really good. There aren't so many ways to heal in this game, so you have to be very careful. I'm glad we didn't have to fight all of the monsters at the end. We just evaded them and ran as fast as we can. Min gave William a little push at the end so he can escape quickly as he has the ritual components and she was wounded. So that was Mansions of Madness and we hope you enjoyed our playthrough. We'd love to know what you think about the use of the app in this game. Does it add to the storytelling experience or does it take away from the board gaming experience by using technology? If you like what you saw, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more board game playthroughs. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you again on our next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.